for coming to our channel and checking us out. We really, really, really appreciate it as always. And make sure you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And also don't forget to subscribe. Only if you like the video. Only if you like me. Only if you like my family. Of course, right? Okay. Today I am doing a collab video with Twinsy Mom and a couple other people from V Loves Collab. Uh, the video, obviously, you've probably seen the title. It's called Keeping It Real. Mm -hmm. And we are going to keep it real. So make sure there's going to be several other videos in this playlist. Look at the description below and I'll try to put a link for you guys as well above. You ready to get going? Let go. We don't need to talk all the time. Let go. Do I got a secret stash? Uh, yes, I do. Y'all see that little stash right there with Santa Claus on it? Yeah, that's all the treats in there. All kind of goodies. See all the goodies in there? All kind of stuff. I do have a secret stash full of candy and snacks because my kids are some climbers. They are crazy. They be climbing on everything in our pantry. So yes, I do have a secret stash that we keep our candy and our chips and our snacks and we want to keep it away from the kids. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty. I said it. I did it and I do it. We do it. My husband tell you, we do it all the time. Now, I just looked in that stash the other day too. It's getting a little light. So somebody's finger's been dipping in it more than others, but you know, we're not going to name no names. But uh, yes, we got a stash. Mm-hmm. I shave my legs. Uh, yes, yes. In the winter time, I still have to shave my legs in the winter time. I know some people like, oh, it's cold outside. You know, we just gonna let it, you know, grow a little bit. You know, we're gonna wait to mow that lawn. But uh, I definitely uh, have to shave still in the winter time. My legs. Um, nothing wrong with anybody else who don't. Hey, I get it. But uh, you know, I like to wear a lot of skirts and dresses and sweater dresses and all that good stuff. You know how we do. So, I gotta have these legs shaved. I don't care if I got on tights or not, but uh, these legs still gotta be shaved. Plus, you know, I'm like almost six feet tall. You know, I got daddy long legs. So, you know, we like to show them off. So, yeah, we gotta shave them. We do. What do we do? No punching. Hey, ain't no punching in Sumo. <laughs> Brody, no punching. To be honest with you, probably several times. I Do I wish I could go back to pre-mommy life? Go, go, go! <laughs> I'll be real honest. To be honest, no. I, I really, truly don't. I, I mean, I'm sure uh, my kids get on my nerves. Now, that, that's the truth. They, they, they really do. Okay? I love them to death, but they, these little two bad boys, they are something serious. So, ugh. I really don't wish I could go back to life without kids, not even for just one day, one week, a couple hours. I don't. I, I really, I enjoy them. I, when I'm away from them, I do miss them. So I, I would have to definitely say I don't think that and I don't wish that. Now, do I sometimes want to send these jokes away for like a week or two to go hang out with grandma, grandpa, cousin, auntie, uncle, whoever? Yes, I do. Especially the days they get on my nerves. Yes, I do. But uh, I don't want to go back to that life. Uh, not like my life was bad or anything. But no, I don't want to go back to that life. I I couldn't even imagine right now. Like I just couldn't. Oh, uh, when the last time I mopped? Mmm, what's the day? Sunday. Sunday. No, when the last time I mopped? Monday. Monday. Yeah, Monday I mopped. Uh, I'm lying. Had to mop yesterday because Mr. Brock knocked over all his juice on the kitchen table, as usual. That's what kids do. So the last time I mopped was yesterday, unfortunately. It's not like that's a good thing. I get tired of mopping all the time. All the time. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when I go to the grocery store, when you get back after doing all that grocery shopping, staying in these long lines, right, with the cashier who really don't want to be at work, yeah, I get home and sometimes I'll just order some food or, you know, grab something on the way home because by the time I've been at the store all day and come back home, I don't feel like cooking. So, yeah, I know that might be sorry to some, but, uh, yeah, sometimes I just don't feel like cooking. Um, Usually, I try to go to the grocery store on another day 
so I could get my food for the rest of the week or you know the food for the week for everybody and then I will be okay to cook but usually if I've been in the store all day I do not want to cook now what I usually will do sometimes <clears throat> hubby is I'll send the hubby to the store so when he come back I don't mind cooking I just don't want to go out and get the groceries that's like I want to do either or I'll, I either want to go to the grocery store or either I'll cook like I just don't really like to do both so for all y'all who do that I mean I'm with you grab that takeout I mean it's quick and easy I got you some groceries though for the rest of the week so yeah I do it I get takeout after I just came back from the store yes <laughs> have I ever blamed smells on the kids I can't say I have to be honest with you now I do know someone I'm not gonna mention any names who will blame it on the kids and uh, my kids will call you out now if you try to blame something on them and it was not them they'll tell you in a minute you nasty you need to go to the bathroom and you know stuff like that so yeah don't don't try to blame my kids because they're a little smart in that area so you better be careful okay if you're gonna blame it on my kids but i haven't done it before so no have, have i taken a long way home N no because i work five minutes away like literally i work um five minutes away with traffic it might be eight to ten like it's like literally a straight shot so I, I don't have an opportunity to take like a long way home there there is no alternate route like whatsoever <laughs> and usually if I'm not like you know I get off at five if I'm not home like you know by five ten some, yeah I'm sorry some of my eye, hold on you know you try to do like a full bang oh, hold on okay we back all right but yeah I, I'm five minutes away so if I get home about 5'10, seriously, real talk, like I'm home 5'10. And if I take any longer, I'll probably be getting a call like, where you at? What you doing? So, mm -mm, I don't get an opportunity to do the long way home, but I really don't need to. I'm usually ready to get home, to be honest with you. Even though I know it's going to be total madness when I get in the house. And usually Brandon's favorite line, as soon as I walk in the door, is tag out. I'm done. They're your kids. Tag out. So, yeah. I don't get a chance to do the long way home at all. Before I wash them. Is that nasty? I think it is. But also it depends on like what else I have done with those jeans. So like if we out and about at stores and all that, doing all that kind of stuff, you know, we're real busy, I'm playing with the kids, I will go ahead and wash them. Like, you know, they'll go in dirty clothes. But if I just ran to the store real quick with them or, you know, um, maybe even warm to work because, you know, I'm at a desk all day. So... You know, we might stretch it out three to five times, but it all depends on the season. Now, if it's the summertime, you get a little hot, people start sweat, you know, got to go ahead and wash some clothes, you know. But I'll say probably between two to five times that I will wear jeans before I wash them. I said it. Call me that if you want to. Yes. I have put the kids to bed early just so I can have some quiet time. I do it all the time. You know, you know, sometimes you want to spend a little time with your spouse or you just want some time for some sanity. You know, you want to read a book, watch a watch a TV show, watch a show that's not kid related for once, you know. I mean, good luck. I get so tired of watching Batman, Superman, uh, Einstein's, Jake the Neverland Pirate, and you know, Bubble Guppies and Blaze. I mean, if you're a parent, you know. Like, I get tired of watching all that. I want to watch my reality TV. I want to watch me some How to Get Away with Murder or whatever the case may be. Especially when Power was on, y'all. Like, I'm guilty. Like, I used to be hurrying up on Sunday and trying to get the kids to bed so I can get me some power in. But, uh, I do it. I'm guilty. You know, sometimes you just need that sanity break. But it don't matter because my kids, like, okay, we're going to sleep and they share a room. So, they be in a tan of something. Y'all are not asleep. What are you doing? What are you doing? Brock, go get in your bed. Brock, go get in your bed. Hey. Brock, why are you in your brother's bed? I'm trying to sleep. I want you to close your eyes and I want to go to sleep. You want to close your eyes? Yeah. 
right? And I'm fine with that. I'm like, as long as y'all stay in the room and let mommy have her time, I'm going to close my door up a little bit, just a little bit, okay? And then uh, I'm good, but I'm guilty. I did it. I do it all the time. I just need a break, man. They get on my nerves so bad. I just don't want to uh, I don't know. knock them out or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you rather me do? Put them to sleep or knock them out, right? No? So. <laughs> but that's all I got, guys. That, that's all the questions that uh, was asked of me, pretty much. But don't forget, there's other people in this collab video. So make sure you go check out those other videos and check out their channel to see how they answer the questions. Don't forget about that. And give the video a thumbs up, up, a thumbs up, up, a thumbs up, if you liked it, of course. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, as always. See you later.